everybody it is january 11th 2021 it's monday miracle monday manifestation monday make shit happen monday it is a great day to be alive it's another day above ground it's a good fucking day we're going to be doing a card of the day a focus of intention from my favorite deck the adinkra ancestral guidance cards we are still honoring and cherishing simone brizzy ando who is no longer with us and this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition, because your intuition is your superpower. And just like that, we get that card flipped. I hope y'all caught it. This is just a focus of intention for the next 24 hours. Ooh, I love, love, love this. It's called Sesta Wosuban, and this means change your attitude, signifying personal reflection and transformation. It's a composition of two Adinkra symbols, the inner star, which represents a new day, and the outer wheel, which amplifies moving forward. So let's see what Sesa Wosuban says. Philo Ooh, I like this. Philosophical significance, transformation. It's a new day. Time for you to do things differently. You are approaching things in the same way, expecting a different result. Change your attitude and approach and see things fall into place. Additional meanings for this card, flexibility, shift, and change gears. And I love the fact that Spirit is telling us today, on January 11th, 1, 1, 1, you are expecting a change, but expecting to do the same thing thing and getting that change how is that gonna work out seriously like i tell a lot of people you know you guys hear me saying a lot of time you know in order for you to grow you gotta let shit go but you have to be flexible you have to be understanding and willing that your energy is vital but if you can't focus on yourself and lo look at things in a different way then what's the point then stay stirring your own shit pot stay tasting your own shit and stay in those dead end relationships stay in those you know passionless jobs stay in those situationships yes i said it because some of y'all in some situations whatever that is for you then stay there but don't complain that you want to change and then when the change comes you're like i don't know i don't know i don't know the caterpillar doesn't always say the caterpillar do you think transformation is comfortable for a caterpillar how would you know the caterpillar literally turns into a cocoon, then transforms into a butterfly. The butterfly is a beautiful example, uh, example of nature in a transformation. Tadpoles, tadpoles transforms into frogs. So again, transformation is vital. Why do you think transformation is not necessary for you? You're transforming every day. You don't look the same when you were born. You don't look the same from when you were born to one years old. You don't look the same from one years old to three years old. You don't look the same from three years old to six years old. Do you see what I'm trying to say? You don't ever look the same. You're always changing. You're always growing. So why can't your mind, your spirit, and your body change as well? You want things to come to fruition, then you have to change your mindset and feel the energy shift in that direction. So many of you want to manifest. A lot of people talk about manifestation and manifestation. I think Drake put out a little manifestation video too and everyone was sharing that shit around social media okay but you have to think and feel on the same wavelength you cannot think that you're rich and feel that you're poor that shit is not gonna work that shit's gonna cancel each other out i tell you all the time that faith and fear can't you know faith and fear can't be in the same predicament faith and fear cancel each other out it cannot coexist together same thing with your thoughts and your feelings they have to be on the same wavelength if not then what's the point you know, I said this the other day during a workshop, I'm going to say it again. Thoughts are, you know, the language of the mind and feelings are the language of the body. And guess what? Your intuition is the language of your soul. All work together, mind, body, and spirit work to together cohesively. It's a new day. What are you going to do with it? In order to do things in a different way, you must step out of this same sequence you must stop doing the same shit different day what do you think that what do you think that that you know that that quote comes from same shit different day because you're on autopilot because you're playing it safe change is change is necessary change is vital and resistance to that is futile you got to change your attitude change your attitude change your energy change your thought process change your job change your relationship change your diet change your lifestyle Change your momentum, change your careers, change your relationships, change your communication, change your passion, 
Change your self-esteem, change your confidence, but everything requires change and everything requires you to be courageous and vulnerable to step into that change. You have to shift. You can't expect going this way and expecting to get this and this and this and this, knowing that doing things your way hasn't worked out for you. Sometimes it has, but it always hasn't either. So where does this transformation cook in? Where can you start changing gears? Up to you. But I hope I help. I hope I'll put some things in perspective. I hope I made you feel better. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademarked, copyright, and registered with the United States government in several different classifications. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for sharing this video with someone who you feel is going to resonate with. And if you'd like to work with me, please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor. Even that means you do not work with me. Your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with those spiritual advisors practitioners. If you would like to work with me, then let you know I'm scheduling it out in February. Love y'all. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for kind comments. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. I love y'all more than you'll ever know. I'll talk to you later.